Hello again. Hey, I've been looking at my bookshelf and rediscovered this beautiful book. It's called Little Yellow Pear Tomatoes. And it was read to me a long time ago and I just loved it. So I thought I would share it with you today. It's written by Demian Elan Yumi and illustrated by Nicole Tamarin. And it's published by Illumination Arts. Little Yellow Pear Tomatoes. And I hope you like the illustrations in this book. I love little yellow pear tomatoes. Let's see if they get out again. They are not red or round like other tomatoes. They are yellow and pear shaped and they come out of our garden. What a beautiful garden. I spy a little mouse down here in the clover. And there is a basket of the little yellow pear tomatoes. They are small and they are so big, not because of their size, but because of what is inside. A lot of not a tomato things are in these little yellow pear tomatoes. Wow, can you see up here? There is a moth and a bug. And there are the little yellow pea tomatoes on the plant. Daddy plants them for me. He tills the soil and puts up stakes for them to lean against. Without him, they would not be in our garden. My daddy is in those little yellow pea tomatoes. Mummy pulls the weeds. She makes room for all the young plants to grow. Without her, the weeds would cover them up. My mummy is in these little yellow pear tomatoes. Ladybugs and earthworms live in our garden. They keep away pests and dig tunnels in the ground. Without ladybugs and earthworms, the leaves on our plants would get eaten and their roots couldn't breathe. Ladybugs and earthworms are in these little yellow pear tomatoes. Oh, and you can see the plant just up through there. Clouds water our garden with rain. Lakes and rivers give their water to the sky to make into clouds. Without fresh water, our plants could not live. Clouds and lakes and rivers and sky are in these little yellow pear tomatoes. Wow. And if you look very carefully, you might need to zoom in on the screen, you can see in the clouds there are little yellow pear tomatoes. The sun gives its energy to each leaf, making it strong and green. The leaves turn this energy into life for the whole plant. Without the sun, our plants would wither and die. The sun is in these little yellow pear tomatoes. And you can see the tentacles all streaming down onto the plants. The sun is a star, and everything needed to make a planet is found in the hearts of stars. Without them, there would be no earth, or skies, or rivers. No daddies to till the rich, dark soil, no tomato seeds. Stars are in these little yellow pear tomatoes. these not a tomato things my daddy my mummy bugs and worms clouds and skies lakes and rivers the sun and stars are parts of a tomato you cannot see take away any one and the little yellow pear tomatoes in my garden could not be wow 
and if you look very closely, zoom in and have a look, you can see all of these different things that she's talked about are in each of the tomatoes. With so much in them, you would think these tomatoes would be huge, but they aren't. I can carry four or five in my hand and pop them into my mouth one by one. I am in these little yellow pear tomatoes too, because if I didn't love eating them so much, my daddy wouldn't plant them. Each little yellow pear tomato has the entire earth and all of heaven in it, just like me. I love little yellow pear tomatoes. I hope you enjoyed that story. It's rather beautiful. It links everything together. We need lots of things to help us grow, just like the plants. Until next time, kaikite.